Hi, I'm Caroline Cooper with the Fitzpatrick team at Remax. In this video, I'm going to break down the steps of the home buying process. The very first step is choosing a realtor. You want to choose someone that you know, like, and trust. Choose someone that you're comfortable talking with and confiding in. You know where to find me. The next step is to speak to a lender. You're going to need a pre-approval letter before you go shopping for homes. So speaking with the lender will help you determine your budget. I know just the person. Next is the fun part, shopping for homes. So Zillow is a great resource, but I can set you up in something better called the multiple listing service. MLS will give you the real time status of homes that are currently listed and you can receive email notification of homes listed with your search criteria. When you're ready, we'll talk protocol. Once you find a home that you love, it's time to submit an offer. It's a seller's market right now, which makes it very competitive for buyers. So we'll discuss multiple strategies to make sure that we position you with the strongest offer possible. We'll discuss this in detail once we get there. Once your offer is accepted and you have a signed purchase and sales agreement, you're under contract. This is so exciting, but don't make your Pinterest board yet. We have a few other steps to get through first. The first is you must be ready to submit your deposit check, which goes into an escrow account, and it's held there until closing, at which time it's put towards your down payment. Secondly, you're immediately going to set up a home inspection. You have 10 business days to perform an inspection in which you learn about your home and have an opportunity to potentially negotiate for any repairs or credits. Next, we'll be working together towards closing with your lender, your title attorney, and your insurance agent. Your lender is going to be working on your financing, making sure that we have approval from the bank for your loan before your mortgage contingency. If we need more time, we'll make sure to get an extension. We'll talk more about this. Your title attorney is going to research the property to make sure there aren't any outstanding liens or roadblocks along the way. They'll make sure that they get us to the closing table. We can also lean on them in case anything else comes up along the way. Thirdly is home insurance is important and it's also required to close. So you'll need an insurance agent. I know plenty of great title attorneys and insurance agents that I'm happy to refer if you need them. The grand finale is here, it's closing day. So we're gonna walk through the property and do the final walkthrough where we make sure that there aren't any damages to the home since we last saw it and that it's broom clean. Then we're gonna to go to the attorney's office and sign all the paperwork. Once the attorney takes the deed to be recorded at the town, you're officially a homeowner. You get the keys, you can move in and you're a homeowner. Congratulations.